Hi, my name is Dan Howery. I'm a video game programmer in Chicago. I just wanted to share uh, a project I've been working on with you guys. Um, so basically, to get right to it, um, working on a, uh, taking an old RC car that I had from when I was a kid. Um, basically, I uh, ripped out all the guts. Uh, this used to be the old circuit board that was in there. Um, looks pretty complicated. Uh, basically took that out um, and input my own um, the Arduino microcontroller uh, that I got from SparkFun. So basically, um, ripped out the guts, put in the uh, Arduino microcontroller, and I'm using that to kind of like uh, control the RC car. Um, so uh, basically, what's happening is uh, I got my laptop over here. Um, it's connected to the Ar Arduino uh, microcontroller through the USB um, cord, and I got uh, C++ code running on the laptop. You can see this is a, a Visual Studio running uh, the uh, C++ program. And basically what happens is um, the laptop, um, the code on the um, laptop handles the input from the Xbox 360 controller. So anytime I hit um, left and right on the stick or up and down on the, on, on the left stick, uh, that uh, input is handled. And uh, you can see that in the uh, kind of like the dialog box window here of all that input from the controller. It's pretty sensitive, so there's a lot of data. Um, basically, the laptop sends uh, all of this uh, input serially uh, through the USB cord um, into the Arduino microcontroller, which is listening for all that uh, input. Um, from there, the um, Arduino uses a, a motor controller that I hooked up on a circuit board here. It's kind of hard to see, but um, Basically, this mo this motor controller right here controls the, uh, these two wires, which go to the uh, uh, the drive motor. Um, uh, so, uh, which makes the car move back and forth. So when I you can just kind of see here, when I hit um, up and down on the left stick, it's going to move the car uh, forward and backward. So I go forward if I press it up, and then hit down and moves the car backward. Um, and then uh, also, I mean, the, the other side of the uh, mo motor controller there is, uh, goes to the steering. Um, so basically, uh, when I take the left stick um, and I move it left and right, it's going to make the wheels go left and right. So the basic idea is that I'm, I'm mimicking what what the old uh, um, the, the old RC cars uh, remote control used to do. But I, I'm basically ripped out all the guts and I'm making it. Um, for my own use, uh, so I can I can for one use the Xbox 360 controller, um, and then also uh, eventually I want to uh, mod the the RC car to have different functions. Maybe add some sirens and some LEDs on there, or um, perhaps a, a tilt and pan camera or and, or something like that. Um, but basically, by ripping out the guts and, and adding my own controller in there, I'm going to be able to do a lot of uh, really cool stuff. Uh, by programming the Arduino to do what I want uh, with a lot of add add-ons. Uh, for the future of the project, uh, looking uh, definitely the car right now is underpowered. Um, I'm going like full speed right now and it's not going very fast and that's because um, it's uh, basically just running off this USB cord which is about 5 volts um, and not and uh, you know like 175 milliamps or something like that. So once I hook it up to the um, this bad boy, this uh, 9.6 volt battery, uh, which is 2,000 milli milliamps, um, that should get the car going a lot faster. Um, also, uh, obviously, it, it would suck to have this uh, cord here uh, while you're trying to drive the car. So um, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, I got a ordering a uh, Blue Smurf Bluetooth uh, chip, which is uh, comes from uh, SparkFun. It's the blue, uh, blue Smurf Gold, so I ordered that. It's in the mail. So my next kind of big task with this will be replacing this USB cord um, so that I can talk from the, the input we're going from the uh, Xbox 360 controller. It'll still be wired into the laptop, and then the laptop will communicate um, wirelessly through Bluetooth uh, to the Arduino here um, so that I can uh, send all my input, input commands uh, and have it uh, operate like that. Um, just uh, finish off with a little demo of it just going back and forth, and I can also do the. Uh, kind of hard to show it all at once. But yeah. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching.